Main Streets basically does more of uh, nearly all the medians and right-of-ways, road signs in the city of Pasadena. We take care of most of the ditches, alleyways, retention ponds. Well, I think that the Clean Streets is the hardest working department in the city. And uh, we've got some really, really good operators that work for us. On all the mowers that have roll bars, they're required to wear hard hats and safety glasses when they're working. Typically, they take water breaks at 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock lunch, and then 1 o'clock. They work extremely hard during this time of the year. It's real hot like this. They'll take an extra break in the morning and in the afternoon just to get water and cool off a little bit. We don't want anybody to get a heat stroke or something. If it's raining very much or lightning, then we shut it down and come into the shop and work around the shop. There's always something to do, something to be repaired at the shop. So we're real safety conscious. The slope mower does the deep ditches and things that the typical tractor and mower can't get to, and things that are normally too steep for a weed eater. So we have a slope mower that the arm will extend down, get to the bottom of the ditches and the side of the ditches. There's a lot of ditches on the fairways in Pasadena that have the deep ditches and also in Golden Acres and some of the other older communities have ditches that can't be done by, by hand, they have to be done with a slope mower. He's got three joysticks that he uses, so I guess if you can work video games, you can do the slope mower. But uh, it's pretty complicated. It's air conditioned. It has to be because it's in it all day. The only radio inside is the city radio, so you can pick up the communications from us. Normally, the slope mower will go out at the same time that a flail mower, and the flail mower will do the top, the slope mower will do the bottom. Then if it's an area that's got curves and stuff, we'll have a weed-eating crew and a toro crew that goes out and does the finish work on it. In the winter, we don't do as much mowing because the grass doesn't grow as fast. So that's when we get ready for the Christmas decorations. When we put the decorations out on Fairmont Parkway, on Red Bluff Road, and on 225, we do that for November and December. Yeah, we sell a lot of birds and a lot of mice and a lot of, a lot of snakes from the cutting, yeah. There's a lot of wildlife out there. We avoid each other. <laughs>